don't know. We don't know just yet. What we do know is that we're about to have a scorching renewal of the BGC Sussex Stakes, a real humdinger of a race. Potentially a three-corner contest, or could be a fourth player. Let's find out with Richard. Thanks. Feel the set. And they're off and racing for the BGC Sussex Stakes. Malibu Bay a little squeezed out at the start and hence is having to be ridden to adopt the front running tactics. And Rip Van Winkle is right up there with the stable companion is being ridden forward. Gennati now tracks Rip Van Winkle. Lord Shanakil is in fourth place. Paco Boy races in fifth on the inside of Beacon Lodge. Then comes Mia's Boy and Forgotten Voice at the rear of the field. So Malibu Bay is setting an aggressive pace. Rip Van Winkle dropping now onto the stable companion's quarters. Gennati Marty tracking Rip Van Winkle with Lord Shanakil in the blue and green. Paco Boy in fifth place in the maroon as they just begin to stack up slightly. Then Beacon Lodge and a three-length gap to Forgotten Voice and Mia's Boy. So Malibu Bay struggling almost to go fast enough to lead Rip Van Winkle, who's cantering all over him in second place. Gennati and Lord Shanakil track that horse. Then Paco Boy and Beacon Lodge. And Rip Van Winkle has been forced to go past his stable companion fully three furlongs from home. So Rip Van Winkle leads Gennati in the blue and white Lord Shanakil, Paco Boy in the maroon with then Beacon Lodge. Uh, Backpedalling fast is Malibu Bay. Rip Van Winkle, Gennati, Paco Boy poised and now spots an angle as Rip Van Winkle trying to run the finish out of Gennati and Paco Boy. It's Rip Van Winkle who leads by a couple of lengths from Paco Boy. Gennati is under pressure. Rip Van Winkle controlling the BGC Sussex Stakes. His two lengths clear from Paco Boy in second place who's asked to produce the turn of foot but surely Rip Van Winkle's gone beyond recall. Paco Boy He's two lengths in his wake. Gennati de Philly is only in third. And finally, a day in the sun for Rip Van Winkle. He wins the BGC Sussex Stakes, beats Paco Boy, Gennati third, forgotten voice Lord Shanakil and Beacon Lodge. Rip Van Winkle has got the Group 1 victory that the talk about him always said that he would get. He's returned the 6-4 to four favourites. Aidan O'Brien, the winning trader. Johnny Murta riding controversy right up until the off about this horse. But he has won it, and he has won it well. He took over from his pacemaker quite a long way out. And first of all, he put Gennati under pressure. Then he put Lord Shanakil under pressure. And it was Paco Boy who emerged in the pack to try and chase him down. He was not able to do so. He had to settle to second for Richard Hughes and Richard Hannon and Gennati the filly has had her colours lowered by an elder coat, a colt and more particularly a colt from her generation. Rip Van Winkle has won the Sussex in magnificent fashion. A tremendous performance by Rip Van Winkle. Complete change of tactics from Murta this time. They did get the tactics right even if the schmozzel leading up to the race proved just to be that. So much hot air. They came out of the stalls and, and Malibu Bay really had to be woken up in the pink colours so actually to take up his duties at the front of, of the field. Murta was soon on the case behind him. Gennati just behind him and Lord Shanakil. More patiently ridden Paco Boy. Uh, and Murta, when probably Malibu Bay didn't take him as far as he would have ideally wanted, he decided to make the best of the lead he'd got on Gennati early and kick.